Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 21st through the 27th. Keep in mind that the timing is still fluid, okay, and not every tarot reading is for you. So this re reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to start right here and get an overall energy. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate the winter solstice, happy winter solstice. So what do we have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we have for Virgo? One card, please. Transformation. So this is the death card. So this is a card. It's a time of transformation. It's a time of profound change. Endings lead to new beginnings. Okay? So when you get the death card, there's going to be a profound change, a renewal, a transition in your life or an ending. But this ending, this separation, this loss, whatever it is, leads to a new beginning. So with an, with if you think about this, with death, there is new life, okay? If you think about every winter, you know, things die, but they become alive again in the spring. So, endings lead to new beginnings. So this is a time of endings and new beginnings for you. You could be going through some sort of separation, okay? Because uh, typically with that death card, it's, it is a separation from something, okay? It's the end of something in your life. It's the end of your old life, put it that way. It's the, something significant is coming to an end. That's too many. These cards are always hard to shuffle. I just lotioned up. <laughs> I just lotion into my hands. I think we'll go with those. Angel. You have an angel around. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. You are protected from harm. And I have to tell you, this is my second Virgo reading. I already did one. And the last words that I said was, You are protected. Those were the last words that I said. I said, you are protected. So this is unbelievable to me. So you are protected from harm. So don't worry about this. Yes, there, there's going to be an ending. But you are protected. Flowers, happiness. So this ending does lead to happiness. You think about the spring. The spring is obviously prominent because I keep bringing it up. What happens in the spring? Flowers blossom. Okay? Somebody may be giving you flowers as well. But something I feel like there's something to do with spring. Okay? Um, there is some sort of protection from harm this week. Considering the other reading I just did, I think there is somebody that is jealous. And this was the card that told me you had protection. This is was the card. This was it. And it just came flipping right out. And that's why I said, you are protected. You, This was it. I can't share the reading because it wouldn't be fair for you to have two readings and not everybody else. Um, but this was the card that said, you're protected. You're protected. All right. So you are protected. I know that you are. Okay. There's some sort of divine protection for you. Now, let me tell you what the other reading had to say. Some of it. There's somebody that is against you. There is somebody that is probably, well, the first card out right here was the Seven of Wands reversed. So that is somebody that wants to probably take you down. I think that you're in a tough position. Somebody wants your status. So there could be some slander, okay? There could be some slander or, uh, you know, somebody is a stiff competitor, you know, because the Seven of Wands about competition, um, so some of you, you could be dealing with a stiff competitor or there's some sort of competition here and the competition is trying to take you down. So beware of that. We also had shark 
one of these cards was shark. And that was, you know, somebody is working against you. So beware. There is somebody that is working against you. Um, but you are protected. You are protected. So just, you know, this is help arriving after the tower card falls. Now we have this card down here. And right here, afterwards, this card was pulled. And then I pulled a card over here and a card over here. And then right here we had the tower. But I had already said, after the tower falls, help arrives. And then the tower falls. So, but the tower has, has but it goes from past to present. With my past to present. Okay. So the tower had, the tower was here. And this was, so, so help is arriving. So you may be experiencing an event this week. Okay. That causes a profound change in your life. That causes an ending. It causes a separation. Whatever it may be. Okay. This is actually a blessing in disguise. Because you will be blessed. This is a blessing. This is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. You are protect protected. So there is going to be an event that probably shakes you up. Okay? Because the tower is a shake up. So you may be experiencing some sort of event. Maybe it's a fight. Because the tower can be a fight. And the seven of wands can be a fight. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that wants to fight, you know, or wants to pick a fight, or you're dealing with competition, you know, that, that, that causes upheaval. You could be dealing with some upheaval this week. Whatever this upheaval is, you will prevail, okay, because you are protected. You are 100% protected, okay? So there's, there's, this is good, okay? You've got angel guidance here, all right? You could also be dealing with an angel. There's an angel around you. Mm. Page of Pentacles reversed. Now this is something to do with a home or happiness or a celebration. There could be an upcoming celebration or a get together. But there's, there's some sort of instability here. There's a blockage standing in the way. This is a blockage. There's an unplanned loss of some sort. I'm sorry. Somebody, somebody's not putting in much effort or they're lazy and complacent or they've lost their focus. We have somebody here that gets easily distracted, that isn't very practical, that really doesn't want to work, that is... I don't know if there's a child here that could be causing problems. We could have an unstable child, you know, or somebody that is very immature that is unstable. It doesn't have to be a child. This could just be somebody that's immature that is unstable. But this is a get-together, so I think there will be some sort of get-together. could be a family get-together. This is happiness. This is happiness too. So it's interesting. This page of wands reversed. This is lack of commitment. This is lacking common sense. We have somebody here that is unhealthy. That doesn't want responsibility. So it's somebody. we have somebody in this scenario. In your world. That doesn't really want responsibility. And that may have something to do with a commitment. This is lack of commitment. And this is commitment. So there's something about a commitment here. Hmm. Justice. Justice is a decision, a needing balance, a fair and just decision. Everything is going to turn out as it should. There could be news of legalities. Somebody could end up in court. They could uh, be taken to court. Uh, they could be speaking of it, you know. Um, legal contracts, something to do with legal contracts. Trying to stop something. Somebody may be trying to stop something from happening as well. Um, justice is a card of truth coming out. So there's some sort of truth that is going to come out. Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is, is somebody that is looking for romance, looking for love, wanting attention, looking for attention.
making an offer. Somebody is, is, is making an offer. They're chatting, they're searching, making a move. Exciting, exciting. Now, this is a match, right? This is a match. This is exciting opportunity, an opportunity for growth. It's a very fertile time. This is a new beginning, to, opportunity to start with a clean slate. Somebody may be trying to stop somebody because this is stop. Somebody is not putting in effort or they're trying to stop somebody. It could be somebody that is an immature, childish, trying to stop somebody from moving in a new direction. This is a new direction. We do have somebody here that is moving in a new direction. Um, now justice is a card of karma, truth, integrity. It's a time of hope and inspiration and getting what you asked for. You're going to get what you asked for. You're going to get what you deserve. If you're looking for love, if, you're, if you are single or whatever, if you're looking for love and you've asked for something, you're going to get it, okay? Some of you are going to be receiving something that you absolutely asked for, okay? There could even be a proposal here for some of you, but there could be a no answer as well with that page of pentacles reverse. I'm just being honest. Um, I mean, that page of pentacles reverse, that's a problem. That is a dead end, okay? It's a dead end. Um, something, something, somebody's not planned efficiently, okay? Or they may not have planned for this new offer that's coming in. That's exactly what it is. Because this is an unplanned offer, okay? There could, this could even be an offer of support or an offer of love. It's definitely unpredictable, so there is an unpredict unpredictable opportunity coming in. This is something that, uh, this feels like it's something that you have asked for and it doesn't have to be love. It could be, it could be. I think that you've been wishing for something, you've been asking for something that has to do with a commitment. Okay, it has to do with some sort of commitment, it could have to do with a home or a foundation. Now, the Ace of Wands is an exciting opportunity that will grow. This is a big, bright opportunity. This is a, this is a, this is a desire. This is a, somebody has a sudden desire to commit, perhaps, or to get in a gauge, or get into a new contract. There's, there's, there could be a sudden contract. This is all of a sudden. And this is a contract. Okay? So, however, this we do have a new life here because death leads to new beginnings. So, this is a new life. So, this could be very, very sudden. A sudden engagement or a sudden a party. You could be invited. This is an invite. Somebody could be invited to something all of a sudden. Okay? Just saying. Um, there could also be a sudden arrival of some sort. Somebody could be coming with the truth. They've been, they've been hiding something. Now this is the truth coming out. Could be dealing with a Libra, could be dealing with an Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This, whatever this is, this is an exciting opportunity to start with a clean slate and it leads to happiness. Okay, somebody is getting a very emotionally fulfilling, happy offer. Okay, it's going to make them very, very, very happy. Extremely happy. Could be a gift. Somebody may be, and it's obviously Christmas falls during this week. So somebody is going to be make, receiving a gift that makes them very, very, very happy. Okay? Um, and it's totally unplanned. You don't see it. I don't feel like you see it. This is a dream come true. It's a, it's a wish being granted. 
Now this, for some of you, not everybody, this is a new partner, okay? This could be like a new sexual partner that leads to commitment, leads to marriage. It doesn't have to be. It could be a new home. Totally unplanned. Now this is getting what you deserve. This is what you asked for. You deserve it. This is what you deserve. Somebody may be getting a proposal that really, really excites them. Woo! King of Wands reversed. Two of Swords reversed. Now this is coming out of denial. Exposure of some sort. Unblocking. Opening up. We may have somebody here that is... Lacking confidence. They've been lacking confidence or they've been worried or they've been anxious or depressed or lazy or uh, fearful. I mean, the King of Wands in reverse is, is uh, it also could be angry. I mean, the King of Wands in reverse can be angry. And this is but, but unblocking. We may have somebody that may have been self centered or felt entitled or was just fearful. Could I just want to keep on saying fearful. Has been guarding their heart, but now they're they're ready for, for love. Somebody's looking for emotional fulfillment. And I feel like they have been maybe they've been lazy and complacent. Maybe they haven't been putting in much effort. This is a big profound change. This is a definite change. So get prepared for a big change, okay? So anyway, um, we definitely have somebody here that has been emotionally guarded, being overly cautious with that two of swords reverse. Somebody's been overly cautious and they haven't been able to follow through with something or take action. They haven't been able to take action. It's because of fear. It is because of fear. Maybe they realize that they've been unreasonable. Somebody's been unreasonable. Now they're making an offer that may surprise you. Okay, it definitely may. This is a surprise. It is a surprise. Ooh. Now the Eight of Swords is confinement, containment of some sort. Somebody has been restricted they've been restricted or they've been in some sort of mental prison or some sort of confinement but and they have been unable to escape they've been unable to escape their thoughts they've been in they've been in fear and i think they've been thinking somebody's been thinking a lot they've been thinking a, a lot about a contract they've been thinking a lot about doing the right thing about the truth as well. About what their heart wants. Somebody has been protecting themselves. I don't know what it is. Protecting themselves from opening up their heart. Protecting themselves from getting hurt. They've been in an uncomfortable place protecting themselves. But now there's an exciting opportunity. It's very, very... This could be a match. Okay? Somebody gets this new desire, okay, this new spark, this new ambition, this new drive with that Ace of Wands or this new vision, you know, they get this new vision, you know, that leads them in a new direction towards happiness. So there is some sort of, I feel like there's happy news that is coming. Somebody was blocked. They were blocked from something, but now it's like they're getting unblocked and there's a new offer coming in that is going to make them extremely happy, really. This is a sudden desire to commit or something like that.
There could be some unexpected fortune coming in as well with that Four of Wands right next to the Ace of Wands. There's something unexpected that is happening that is going to break you free. It's going to break you free from whatever it is that you've been worrying about. You've been worrying about something. It's been plaguing you. You've been you've been really thinking really in a space of oh my god, you know, I can't believe this is happening or what's going to happen next. You've been thinking bad. Okay? This is this is negative thinking. I think that you have been thinking um all the wrong things, you know. You're about to receive some sort of confirmation that breaks you free from this paranoia. It's like you've been paranoid. You're about to be broken free from this paranoia. You're about to receive some some really, really, really good news. This is a dream come true with the star card. Something has ended because of this transformation, because of this death card. This ending was a blessing in disguise because you have something more fruitful that is coming together. Something more uh, that is going to bring you more happiness. Somebody may have been lying. They may have been lying about something. Because I feel like we have some lies here. And this is be lies being exposed. There's been some lies. And I feel like the truth is coming out. And you're going to get the offer. You're going to get something that you've been waiting for. It feels like you planted some seeds and they've come to fruition. Some seeds that you planted have come to fruition. And I think it's I think it's time. I think it's time for you to, to go. You may need to go someplace. It's time or it's time for them to go. This is it's time to pick. And perhaps it's time to go someplace else. Maybe it's time to plant your seed someplace else. Maybe a season is over. This is to me, this is a card of relocation. So somebody may be relocating. They may be going someplace else because this season is over. Maybe somebody's gonna be signing a new contract as well. But I, I feel like there's 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 two sides to every situation and I feel like there's somebody has been lying about the truth. Whoever this person is that has been lying about the truth. I don't know if it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. I feel like this person is uh, going to be answering a lot of questions. They may be questioned. They may be put on the spot. Somebody's going to be put on the spot. We have somebody here that is very, very guarded. That is in a tough position. I feel like this person that is in a tough position has made a poor decision of some sort. They may have let their ego or the pride get in the way of making the right decision. We have somebody here that is highly competitive. Feels like it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius does not have to be. Feels like this competitive individual is losing their power in some way. They're losing control. Somebody may be getting a pol an apology with the uh, Knight of Cups. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. Could be anybody. But anyway, so that could be an apology. Somebody may be getting an apology. Somebody may be um, hoping for another chance. Just being honest. 
Anyway, Virgo, I feel as though um, your hard work is about to pay off. I feel like you have taken care of a situation. I feel like you have worked really, really hard to obtain some sort of success. And I feel like you're going to be getting some sort of reward. Okay? I feel like there's somebody that has been in some sort of bad place. Maybe it's even you're in your mind. I don't know. Somebody's been in a in a place of of Well, it's negative thinking. It is negative thinking. Somebody's been in a place of mental turmoil, per se. And now they're getting this new vision, right? They're getting this new vision. They're starting to see something differently. You're going to be getting an exciting offer. And it may be, whatever this exciting offer is, it's going to make you extremely happy. Totally unexpected. And I don't even need the tower card. You are about to reap some sort of benefits from all the hard work that you have put in. This is a week of transition and profound change. Something has ended. It ended for a reason. Rejection is protection. You have a better, more exciting opportunity here that actually will grow into a lot of happiness. You may have not been able to see it because you were investing in something that maybe it was superficial, maybe it was fake. You may have been investing in somebody that really didn't have your back, that somebody, somebody that had a lot of pride, that had a lot of ego, maybe it was even a narcissist. But now there's going to be a balancing of the scales. You're about to get what you deserve. And I don't think you see it coming. I think it's like harvest time, right? It's time. It's time for you to receive a gift of some sort. Seriously. This is a gift and this is a blessing. Okay? And it could be in the form... I don't know what this gift is. It could be many different things. But for some of you, it's a, it's a, new, it's a new partner. If that's what you're looking for. Um, it's not what I'm looking for. But anyway... Um, but some of you could also be receiving an apology... From somebody um, but whatever is happening a wish is being fulfilled with that star card you are protected and you, you are about to have a wish fulfilled that leads you towards happiness it's gonna it's gonna rid you of the paranoia okay Good luck.